a quick review of the fats we've talked about so far. There are saturated fatty acids. They're saturated with hydrogens because they have all single bonds in the fatty acid chain, which is all carbons and hydrogens in single bonds. So unsaturated means that they're not saturated with hydrogens due to one, two, three, or more double bonds. Every time you add a double bond, there will be less than the maximum number of hydrogens, so it is no longer saturated with hydrogens. So a monounsaturated fatty acid has one double bond, and then polyunsaturated can have more than one, so either two or three double bonds. The overall shape of a saturated fat or a saturated fatty acid is straight. And when you have a double bond, the overall shape will depend on the type of double bond, if it's a cis double bond or a trans double bond. So the cis arrangement of the double bond, uh, hydrogens are on one side, so they're on this one side, which causes the rest of the hydrocarbon chain, so the double bond, including the rest of it leading off in this direction and the rest of it leading off in this direction. This forces a bent shape of the double bond and the, therefore a bent shape of the overall hydrocarbon chain, of the overall fatty acid. The trans arrangement of the double bond, so here's the carbon-carbon double bond, the trans arrangement has the hydrogen on either side. And so what this does is it forces the rest of the hydrocarbon chain into uh, a straight overall shape. So this is on the diagonal. The rest of the hydrocarbon chain extends this direction and the rest of the hy hydrocarbon chain extends this direction. So this would be a straight overall shape on this diagonal. And this will result in a straight overall fatty acid. The cis arrangement of the double bond forces a, an overall bent fatty acid, and the trans arrangement of the double bond forces an overall straight fatty acid chain. So we can see that in oleic acid, this is an, a cis arrangement where the hydrogens are on the same side, and it forces a bent shape of that fatty acid. And so oleic acid is the main component in olive oil. So olive oil, which we can see here, is a liquid at room temperature. And this is because these oleic acid molecules are bent and they can't stack up. This is a liquid at room temperature. When they can't stack up, then you have a flow. As compared to a trans or straight overall shape, these molecules will stack up. And that easily forms a solid at room temperature. So this is an example of coconut oil. So coconut oil, you can see, is not a liquid. It's a solid. And so when these molecules stack up, that easily forms a solid at room temperature. But a lot of these fats and oils, and you'll notice this is called coconut oil, this has a low melting point. So depending on the temperature of the room, this actually can easily become a liquid. In general, having one or more double bonds will lead to a bent overall shape, but though it does depend on the cis or trans arrangement. For polyunsaturated fats, this is also true. When there's more than one double bond, when there's two or three, that's going to be a polyunsaturated fat. And that will still depend on the cis or trans arrangements of those two or three double bonds. So the overall structure can be straight, depending on the arrangement, or it can be bent. We're going to focus, though, on these two polyunsaturated fats, which are linoleic and linolenic acid. So linoleic acid has two double bonds and linolenic acid has three double bonds. These are both very bent fats. They're both very bent fatty acid chains and these are considered uh, essential fats. So essential fats are essential in human metabolism. Your body needs these fats, but your body cannot make them. So what that means is you have to eat them in the foods you take in. So they're called omega fats or omega-369. Um, they are essential. They're also considered healthy fats compared to unhealthy fats, which are saturated fats. So some of the best sources of these healthy fats in if you're thinking, well, what foods can I eat? So salmon has, is high in omega-369. Um, there's also avocados and olives and olive oil have high amounts of linoleic and linolenic acid.